This video shows you what to do if your HP printer does not pick up or feed paper from the input tray when you do have paper loaded and an out of paper message displays on the printer's control panel or your computer. Sometimes the problem can be fixed just by doing a printer reset. Press the power button to turn the printer off. Wait 60 seconds. It is important to wait the full 60 seconds for this type of reset. Then press the power button to turn the printer back on. Wait for the printer to turn on and stop making noise. Align plain white paper by tapping a stack on a flat surface. Then slide out the input tray. Load paper into the input tray until it stops. Slide the paper width guide inward until it stops at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guide in so tightly that it starts to bend the paper. Slide in the input tray. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. On the control panel, press the right arrow to display additional options. Touch Setup. Touch the down arrow and then touch Reports. Touch Printer Status Report. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. Often the condition of the paper you're using can cause paper not to feed correctly. Tray 2 is an optional accessory. If Tray 2 is installed, continue with these instructions. Otherwise, perform the following steps with Tray 1 only. First, slide out Input Tray 1. Then, remove the paper from the input tray. Slide out input tray 2. Remove paper from the input tray. Remove any damaged paper you find. Make sure that there are at least 10 sheets of plain white paper, but no more than 25 sheets in the paper stack. The printer can hold more sheets of paper, but this number is best for testing. Make sure all the paper is the same size and type and then tap it on a flat surface to align the edges perfectly. Load paper into tray 1 until it stops. Slide the paper width guide inward until it stops at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guide in so tightly that it starts to bend the paper. Slide in the input tray. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. On the control panel, Press the right arrow to display additional options. Touch Setup. Touch the down arrow and then touch Reports. Touch Printer Status Report. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. Printer rollers get dirty from dust, paper fiber, and other debris. In this step, we'll clean the rollers. Before you begin, gather the following cleaning materials. Clean lint-free cloth, clean cotton swabs, clean water. Distilled or bottled water is preferable, but not required. Do not use alcohol or other chemical cleaners. Slide out the input tray and remove the paper. Slide in the input tray. Press the power button to turn off the printer. Turn to the back. Disconnect the power cord. Remove the duplexer. To do this, push in the tabs on both sides of the duplexer and then pull it straight out from the printer. Clean the rollers visible in the printer with a clean, lint-free cloth lightly moistened with water. The cloth should be damp, but not soaking wet. Wipe each roller starting on the right side of the roller and wiping to the left. Use your finger to turn the roller up as you finish cleaning a section of the roller. 
Make sure that you remove any buildup or debris from the entire surface of the rollers. Look for the paper pick roller farther inside the back of the printer. Blot the swab on the cotton cloth to remove excess water. The swab should be damp but not soaking wet. Use one hand to pull the spring-loaded cover in front of the roller down and hold it in place. Using your other hand, clean the roller with a moistened cotton swab, removing any buildup or debris. This is the most important to clean. If this roller inside the printer is not cleaned, this problem will continue because this is the roller that feeds the paper into the printer. Now let's clean the rollers in the duplexer. Access the paper feed rollers by pressing the two tabs on top of the duplexer to open it. Clean the paper feed rollers in the duplexer the same way you clean the rollers inside the printer. Check the rollers to make sure they are clean, free of debris, and rotate freely. Close the duplexer until the tabs on both sides of the duplexer snap into place. Reattach the duplexer. To do this, gently push the duplexer into the back of the printer. Reconnect the power cord. Return to the front. Press the power button to turn the printer on. Align plain white paper by tapping a stack on a flat surface. Then slide out the input tray. Load paper into the input tray until it stops. Slide the paper width guide inward until it stops at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guide in so tightly that it starts to bend the paper. Slide in the input tray. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. On the control panel, press the right arrow to display additional options. Touch Setup. Touch the down arrow and then touch Reports. Touch Printer Status Report. If the test page prints successfully, try printing your original document again. If the issue is resolved, there is no need to continue troubleshooting. If the test page or the original document does not print, go on to the next step. Sometimes the problem can be fixed just by doing a printer reset. First, make sure the printer is turned on. If it is off, press the power button. Next, turn to the back of the printer. Without turning the printer off, remove the power cord from the printer. Then disconnect the other end of the power cord from its power source. Wait 15 seconds. It is important to wait the full 15 seconds for this type of reset. 
Reconnect the power cord to its power source. Then reconnect the other end of the power cord into the printer. Return to the front of the printer. Press the power button to turn the printer on. Align plain white paper by tapping a stack on a flat surface. Then slide out the input tray. Load paper into the input tray until it stops. Slide the paper width guide inward until it stops at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guide in so tightly that it starts to bend the paper. Slide in the input tray. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. On the control panel, press the right arrow to display additional options. Touch Setup. Touch the down arrow and then touch Reports. Touch Printer Status Report. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. Next, we'll make sure the paper settings in the print driver match the settings for the paper you are trying to use. On your computer, return to the document in the program you were trying to print from when the issue occurred. On your keyboard, press Ctrl and P to open the Printing Properties window. Click Properties. When the Properties box opens, click the Features tab. Select the Paper Type drop-down menu. Click More, and then choose the appropriate paper type. Click OK. Select the Size drop-down menu. Click More, and then choose the appropriate paper size. Click OK. Click OK, and then click OK again to print the document. If the document prints successfully, the issue is resolved. If the document does not print, go on to the next step. If you've tried everything described in this video and you still have a problem, your printer likely needs some type of service. Contact HP to find out what the support options are for your printer. Your options for service may vary, depending on how long you've owned it and what country you live in.